Chapter 7 Hey girl! A handsome guy is looking for you. It's in the store, Mina said while reading it revain of papers. He looked up. Who? Why, mind. Don't want to say the name take it out, he said Lee. You have already found someone to replace Alex, huh? Mina commented with a smile. You chose well. Friendship. Calvin Klein's garter almost loosened when I saw the using with sex appeal how handsome he is. It's terrible. It's so bad. Hi. Lee added as if dreaming. Rather than straining his brain to thinking about who they are referring to, he better get up and see who it is. The one looking for him. It seems that the already beautiful just got better it was his day to see Neptali. He smiled sympathetically at her. Hey, why are you here? Smiling questioned he. Nothing, just visiting you. Is it bad? Someone whispered behind him. Looked after his two friends who just followed it turns out to be him. That's the way they are he introduced himself to his interlocutor. Neptali, meet my friends, Mina and Lee. He introduced them. He shook hands with his friends. After saying that, the two moved aside. They pulled him into a corner. Don't tell me this is what you're talking about what Grandpa Bartolo agreed with you? Lee asked almost in a whisper. Probably did. Neptali was worried about hearing what they will talk about it. He nodded. They screamed loudly this. Grab the opportunity, Mare. Don't do it, miss the opportunity. You are a winner, Hers. Lee said artfully. Yes. Don't hesitate any more to marry him. He agreed mine. Stop it, he scolded them. Smiling, he left them and again faced Neptali. Neptali invited him to lunch. His two friends who are no more embarrassed, he said goodbye to come with them. Neptali did not reject them. They kept asking the young man for a while they eat, which is answered patiently this. She saw his effort to get along well with her friends. It was not difficult to do that. He was a natural charmer. He was happy just listening to them. Looking at his face now made her realize she missed him. They didn't see each other for a few days since they returned to Manila. Their eyes met. Feeling he seemed to be suddenly quiet environment. As if it was just the two of them, Neptali was the only creature that was there that moment he was the first to look back. He did not stare into its eyes for a long time. There was something in those lovely eyes that made her feel uneasy. He just focused on his. Attention to food. By one o'clock in the afternoon, they were delivered it back to the bookstore. He told her he will wait for her later because he will pick her up this. He heard the accented scream of two friends because of what he said. Oh, Mare, it's terrible. We approve of Neptali for you, Mina said after leaving Naftali. Yes, here we go. You are perfect, Mare, Lee said excitedly. Actually, we're planning to talk about it wedding tonight. I don't know, he seems eager to get married. They screamed even more. It's good just and there they are inside their office, otherwise they must have gotten the attention of bookstore staff and customers. He just shook his head to get away from them. That design will suit you, said Neptali. Ravane suddenly lost her attention to looking at the magazine when he suddenly spoke. He was distracted by her hot breath hitting his full ear. Its horrible spread over his body delivered Zamet, a variety of sensations that almost make you lose your mind to sanity. Is that so? Still nervous language he. All right, let's just take this, saying. He also agreed with her wish. He was helping her that day for choose a wedding dress. He has two liked but no again. He can decide which one to choose among those that. When it was released from the schedule it was immediately they take care of the needs for their marriage. They also got a wedding coordinator. His grandfather teases him every day. Neptali says that this too is not silenced of its grandfather fortune. After measuring him, they went shopping design for invitation. He and Neptali spend almost every day together. They want no mess in the marriage them. And every moment together there he feels his importance here. Apparently she is a princess if she treats him. The reaction is getting worse his heart in the simple throbbing of their arms. It's like there's an orchestra plays whenever that happens. He knew it was not a good sign those. But what can he do? Nope, he is blind to not notice the its good qualities. It's like he wants to retreat to agreeing to his grandfather's wishes. Maybe he is be a loser if he continues expect the madness to begin flourished in his heart. So even though it was difficult, he controlled the his feelings. But when he thinks about it their impending union and that they will be alive, 
married, their husband is more fear gripped his chest, meaning that means it's more time he will be with Naphtali. He was sure. He has more to discover good thing about its personality. That will also mean that the attraction he feels for it. When that happened, it would be harder for her to let go when the time comes. But still prevailed in his heart the hope when they get married, there are more is the opportunity to get close to it as well him. He will go out of his way till that happens. She wanted their marriage to work. Do you love him, Ravain? Asked him said Mina. That was the day of his wedding with Naphtali. At that moment they were being fixed by a beautician they hired for the day. He couldn't answer that question that. He just pretended it wasn't him hurt. Hey, witch, don't dead, Mahanas, no? Lee said, you can't hide your feelings for him. When the repair was finished, he was the beautician left the room. I'm scared. There is no guarantee this is marriage, he said to Mina. Why don't you tell him how you feel? Do you feel it? Lee said, yes, your problem is not over. It seems that easy. What if he just laughs at me? Guys, this is just a marriage of convenience. We all know that, he said exasperatedly. I will make sure first he loves me too. I need security first before I confess my feelings for him. But until I'm not sure, I will make him fall in love with me first, said determinately. He, good luck to you, Mare, said Lee grabbed his hand. Yeah, good luck to you, Mina said who embraced them. Let's stop this, he said with a laugh he. Maybe we'll even cry, we might even break my makeup, maybe I won't be forever Naphtali will marry me when she sees me like this ghost then maybe that's bored in church, per him. Ravain's grandfather insisted that he would walk her down the aisle, even though it's, it's a wheelchair. As he approached the altar, the beat will get stronger and stronger his chest. It was even more intense when he saw Naphtali was waiting for him with a smile altar. His hand was shaking and cold. When his grandfather gave it to him, you're trembling, he commented. Don't be nervous. It's just me. And he smiled sweet, he smiled somehow. When it started swearing in front of the priest, he could no longer prevent the fall of her tears. He wished it was true all that, that the statement of love it says, which it pronounces those words to dedicate to him. He was thankful that he could still do it recite his vows. Hey, why are you crying, said when lifted this is the veil covering her face. His nerves pounded even more chest he was going to kiss her. Admitted her or not, she had been dying to be kissed. Again by him. He gently wiped away the tears that fell on his cheeks. Then he gave her a chaste kiss on the lips. He wants to go deeper he couldn't do that kiss anymore because it only took a few seconds to apply theirs lip. After the reception, at their mansion they went to Forbes Park. And because there is none helpers know about real reason for his marriage with Naphtali, they have to share the same room. Earlier, every guest leaving was his worries raised. He did not know how to act in front of it. Or, if how will he act when there are two of them only? It was very difficult for him to remove his gown, while it was just pants. Notice perhaps this the his predicament he helped her undress what he's wearing. Would you like to shower first? It asked. He just nodded. He took the his towel on the bed and proceed to the bathroom. It's been a long time since he finished taking a shower, but he still couldn't get out. She was dying of anticipation with what was going to happen tonight. There is also the extreme fear, although that was not the first time. He will give himself here is still afraid him too. He took three deep breaths before he turned the bathroom lock. Seeing Ravain only in her robe on made the temperature in the air, conditioned room rise a notch higher. When it comes out of the bathroom, it immediately spread its fragrance to whole room. Like its scent, it spreads quickly of heat in Neptali's body. Easy, easy he entered the bathroom. There it was pointed out he opened the shower to relieve the heat that ravages his whole body. From what he felt, he was sure he was going to have a hard time falling asleep tonight. Or every night that they would be together. He soaked for almost half an hour under the shower. He didn't want to force his rights as his wife because he doesn't want to it angers him and breaks the friendship they have formed. At least, even he knew he didn't want that wedding. They are friends. In a way at least that is to be normal, no matter how their union. But he seems to want to run again entering the bathroom when he saw the sex wearing it. 
combing became even more frequent Ravain in her hair though I think he has said that for the hundredth time passed through the comb. He swallowed one after the other when he saw the exit of Neptali from the bathroom. Only boxer shorts. Only wearing it. From the mirror he saw himself looking it's also his. He doesn't much see the emotion in his eyes because he couldn't make eye contact here for a long time. Good night, he said and lay down on the bed. He is not finished. Finished with combing the hair. He still doesn't know how to normalize the erratic his heart beat. After some passing the comb through his hair, he reluctantly stood up from in front of the dresser. He even lay in bed waiting. He turned his back on it. He was tense. It didn't help cold air conditioner blows, even more making it worse. In his cooling, he felt his gesture. Her senses were on guard. Maybe because it's sudden just listen to him. But 20 minute that he was probably lying down not yet it also acts. She became restless. By, by him to lying down, aren't you used to having someone next to you? Later he asked. He faced his behavior. And no. Okay, just, he replied. He was looking at her intently, he also looked into her eyes. She was sure she was seeing a fire of passion in his eyes. Fear filled her again chest he knew that at any moment he would be approached. This face to him and will kiss his lips. But suddenly he spoke. Because otherwise you're used to having someone next to you, I'll just be there on this sofa sleep. He wants to torture her. It seems sudden all hope fell in his heart. Eh, uh, if I just kick it down to the floor? He said disgustedly to himself, turning his back on it. Thank you.